Welcome to day five, I think, of On the Road. And we're about ready to leave uh, Traveler's Rest, South Carolina, and we're going up to a place called Maryville, Tennessee. But there's been some flooding, I think, in Tennessee or something, so it had to alter our route. Uh, so we're taking like the super long way today. We're gonna stop in a couple places, which should be fun, some small towns and everything. But we did have some sales on eBay. I did a couple things to maybe juice up the eBay algorithm for us when we're away, because we only had two sales in like five days or four days. And then uh, I basically promoted some stuff. I did a 10% sale on the entire store. And then I relisted and delisted some items last night. So a King Cobra Pitching Wedge sold for $12 plus shipping. A Warrior Golf TCP 9-iron sold $15 plus shipping. A Tiffany and Fred Shoulder Bag Leather sold for $25 plus shipping. And then a right point, uh, it's a big wrench sold for $21.25. And then Sentech combination wrenches sold $8.50 free shipping. So probably not a whole bunch of stuff made on that. We only have 31 offers to send, but we don't send offers when we're out and about just because we had uh, people asking a whole bunch of questions yesterday on eBay and it was taken away from like actually filming for the other channel. We thrifted in Greenville and we thrifted in Traveler's Rest. And I will tell you, if you are in the Greenville area, that you have some good thrift stores like the goodwills are super cheap cheaper than ours by far and also uh traveler's dress is more expensive than than greenville i would say just by our, our experience for one day you know it might change on a daily basis but greenville had a whole bunch of goodwills i think there was like 10 maybe or 15 in a very small area and then they had also very large thrift stores on top of that like gigantic so very cool we're gonna go ahead pack the jeep get the dog in the car and head out to Tennessee. Pumpkin Town. Sadly, it's closed. And they don't open till one. They open till one. It's nine thirty <laughs> in the morning. We will. Well, listen, I wanted to go in there. I wanted Get to me go some in there. coffee and ice cream. I know it. Nah, this place looks cool. <laughs> Look at this road that we're <laughs> we're on. It's like twisty, turny. Good thing Julian is driving because he gets a little. Oh, I get super sick. Like <laughs> right now, if I was in the passenger seat, we'd be stopping for me to take a little puke break. <laughs> me, it makes me sleepy. We found a park. It says, Welcome to Caesar's Head State Park. And we actually needed to go to the restroom. So, look at that. Perfect. <laughs> so we're point of view. I'll tell you what, that right there, beautiful, right? Yeah. So you can see Stool Mountain is the one over there, no rock or no trees on it. Table Rock Reserve, can't see it because the clouds. Dismal Forest. That sounds terrible. I should change the name. <laughs> Piedmont, Gamble Mountain. That one's pretty high, 2600. I think right now we're actually above 2600. I think we're in the 3000 above the clouds. Let's walk over there. Let's walk over there. We don't have Willow because... She would jump off the mountain. Yeah, she would. <laughs> but it's very cool out. Yeah, we got So she's... Oh my God. And we have the temperature gauge in the car, which is very nice. Holy cow. Oh. This isn't even doing it justice. That's crazy. This is like an AI... <laughs> view this is beautiful i think this is the most beautiful most things in the world it's the best view i've ever seen in the mountains right now so far yeah i think the clouds are really kind of doing cool things too because we're above the clouds yeah 
Now, tomorrow we're actually um, climbing that rock face. <laughs> no? No. No? Yeah, we're on top of the mountain because there ain't nothing above us. Look. Like, this is the top of the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm deathly scared of heights. But this doesn't bother me. Now, would I want to jump off of there? No, it makes my knees a little weak. <laughs> We were just watching skydiving last night, and you said you would go skydiving. What do you think about it now? No, I'm going to say no. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and retract my statement of me acting like I was tough. I said no immediately. Yeah, I don't know if I could skydive. Now, like, thinking about jumping off the edge, couldn't do it. Devil's Kitchen. Look at this. This is crazy. How far down do you think it goes? Oh, wow. Big old spider web. Nobody hasn't been down here in a while. Is that like a ah, spider web? Uh, Got me. Whew. Check this out. Did it get you too? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good grief. That's a big spider web. <laughs> get out of here. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Check this out. This is a crevasse, is what we like to call it. I'm getting claustrophobic. What happened? So it probably goes up that way, I'm guessing. But we're not going to get that far away from the car, right? Yeah. For Willow. So we're heading back to the car. But this thing is, that's nice. Look at you. I'm glad I took all the spider webs for you. Check this out. What are these, like, rocks you And then that means I'm dead. And I'll see you in heaven. But uh, this is pretty neat. I've actually, I don't know if I like caves. Kayla's actually claustrophobic, so she kind of ran ahead. But... That's pretty cool. So Caesar Head, Caesar's Head State Park, 3208 feet. That's pretty high. I think that the oxygen or my cardio is a little bit off because I can't breathe. There's a little gift shop down here. I think we want to go in real quick because thirsty and uh, maybe we'll buy something like a hat or souvenir or dog bone. <laughs> Got a little wood sticker. Yeah, to go in the cooler. Go in the cooler. Got a treat for Willow because she's a good dog. Shape of a trout. My most important thing, or I think it's cool, I got jackalope jerky and you got venison jerky. And we're heading to a place called Pretty Place, actually it's called Fred's Chapel. And we just uh, talked to a state trooper, park ranger, whatever they are. Uh, this face is west, that face is east. So we're gonna have two different vantage points. So we can't wait to get there, but we gotta go through like another couple mountains, right? Mm -hmm. So over the mountain and through, through the, the woods. woods. <laughs> to pretty place we go. That's so pretty. pretty. So there ain't nothing prettier than a lake and a mountain behind it. It's why I want to go to Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think these people do for money that... I actually have no idea because there's not much industry around here. We're not seeing a whole bunch of farming. If you live out here, we're like, I don't know what, 30 minutes outside cashiers and stuff and you live here. What is it that you do for cash only? Yeah. It's very pretty and very nice. And we've some, seen some really, really nice houses, too. Yeah, absolutely. But it's like... What are, what are you doing where, where, where for you work? Because we want to know. Because maybe we'll start doing it. Yeah. And live here. Are you selling on eBay? Look at all the mailboxes. Macari? Posh? Poshmark? Poshmark? Hey, you Poshmark seller! <laughs> your Mustang? I do. Oh <laughs> man. We could be ripping and rolling. The old Jeep's doing good though. That's yeah. a real pretty view right here. That is pretty. That's see, our, that's a pretty lake. That is a pretty lake. I wish we knew what road we were on. It's somewhere in Tennessee and there's... It's 115. One, uh, highway 115? Actually, it says 129. 129. But there's some sort of event that is really cool about like sports cars and motorcycles on this road. It's 11 mile stretch of nothing but turns. 
and sadly there's like two cars in front that are going super super slow so the these other cars can't go fast but I mean it's it's pretty cool there's a lot of sports cars around us and we're in a lifted Jeep with big tires but we're, we're, we're staying with them we're staying with them we're we're getting it so we are in a storm I'm like freaking out right now The wind's got to be gusting like, what, 40, 50? So we made it to the cabin. Yeah, we locked ourselves out right when we got here, which wasn't terrible, but we're- <laughs> Willow was inside. Yeah, but we're in. Yeah. But uh, treacherous six and a half hour drive in rain and thunderstorms, but it worked out. But we did have a whole bunch of stuff sell. So we're gonna go ahead and go over that because we did, like I said this morning, what I did to actually kind of boost. We actually had a payout today on Tuesday of $700 last week. Yeah, so that ain't too shabby. We had a uh, winter wonderland gold hanging Christmas ornament sale for $12.75. Our Star Trek, the next generation Borg ship sold $85 plus shipping. That's going to be well in the profit now on the Star Trek lot. We had a North Face uh, extra large green plaid shirt sale, twelve seventy five plus shipping. We had a uh, Scott safety cylinder that came out of that big uh, storage unit that we got oh, with yeah. all the fireman gear, thirty one dollars and forty five cents for one. Remember, we had like five hundred of them, so that that ain't too bad. And then we had a um, a shotgun a tr a trigger assembly sale for forty six dollars and seventy five cents plus shipping. We had locks sell. Certain mailbox locks, a brand new lot of three sold for $42.50 plus shipping. And then a Salad Master replacement knob handle sell for $11.05 plus shipping. But that's going to end the video today. We'll talk tomorrow morning when we get there uh, because we have, we're getting up here and then going straight to our other Airbnb, which is almost in the same town. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what we're going to do for five hours, probably watch videos. We're in a different time zone though. This one is not in... The different time zone and it's literally across town so really it's going to be longer yeah does that make sense yeah. so it's 11 o'clock here but if you walk across the street <laughs> it's 10 o'clock yeah so that's always weird but uh we'll see you in the morning we are out at the new airbnb as you can tell it is raining this is the new airbnb and then it has a really nice pond right there with some fish in it we're going to try to catch some fish later on as you can tell it is raining it has been raining here on and off literally since we got here hopefully it kind of eases up a little bit so it's going here hide from the rain and then tomorrow a whole bunch of yard sailing so we have been out yard sailing all day and this is kind of the non-glamorous behind the scenes of the 127 or any kind of yard sale if you're traveling um you know far distances so i brought bubble wrap and paper for breakable items and some boxes. Now, remember, we do have the Jeep, so we have to take that into consideration on how much space we have. So, I'm gonna turn you around here. What I have done is put all of the glass in here, and this says top. So, we wanna know, I'm letting Julian know that this is the top and that is the bottom, just because of how I have it packed. And, it says glass, so nothing can go on top of this box. So this is just like two days of thrifting, and this is all glass in this box. 
So we've got knives here. So I've got to figure out how I'm going to wrap the knives on when we travel. And I'm trying to put like things together. So that way when we go to put it in the storage unit, it's not like everything is thrown in there. So we know this is glass. We know that we're gonna put this where we want the glass to go. Um, this stuff is gonna be, there's jewelry in this bag. Um, so I know that this is gonna go right into my eBay room when I get home. This is going to go with the booth stuff. So I kind of organize it that way. So when we get home, we can just put it where it needs to go, if that makes any sense. So I know we have three more days of thrifting, but I like to do this gradually. So that way at the end of our trip, we're not scrambling around trying to get things packed in the car. We kind of know where everything is and that way we can pack it a little bit more efficiently. So I got the knives wrapped up. I did not bring extra cardboard, but thankfully they had some at the Airbnb. So I just wrapped these in cardboard and then wrapped them in the saran wrap that we actually remembered to bring. We are uh, in Crossville. Again, we, we are staying in Deer Lodge at the Airbnb. And this is kind of how the feel of Crossville is. It's just a one way road. Uh, they're working on the roads back there to make it bigger, but each side of this like road here is going to have vendors on it and other yard sales. They're super hit and miss, so when you come out here, uh, when you stop on the side of the road, you might get the best deal of your life or it might be the highest prices you've ever seen. And it's just one of those things, but you got to stop at most of them just to make sure there's some, you know, you just don't know. And as the, as the week gets uh, longer and longer, you know, like into the week, like Saturday evening, Sunday, the prices usually get better and better. I feel like I want to stop there because that guy's got a lot of bass things. Yeah. And I need to catch some bass tonight. Because them, them fish, they know me from last year and they will not bite no top water frog. <laughs> so Kayla is in the Kroger right now grabbing some uh, food for us tonight. And what we're gonna do is go for some solds that has happened. I'll tell you what, we have been selling actually a lot of stuff, more than usual uh, when we're on vacation mode. And still, we still have a lot more days to go, like six, six or seven more days. But we'll go over some what solds, a Hummel Trio a Hummel Trio of Wishes figures, Hummel 721 with wooden base sold for $127.50 plus shipping. An antique brown and green marble onyx hinge trinket box with paw feet sold $97.75 plus shipping. VW Bug Speedometer sold $127.50 plus shipping. A Sony Handycam for parts sold $17. A 2018 Chevy Silverado OEM manual sold $17. When it comes to those, we actually sell those a lot. When it comes to like car manuals, it doesn't really matter the car manual. It will eventually sell for like 10 to 15 bucks. If it's an old manual for like maybe a desirable vehicle, Mustang, Camaro, something, and somebody's redoing and wants the actual OEM manual, then that can go for a lot more money for sure. A vintage Marvin the Martian visor sold 11 bucks plus shipping. The Japsco Rayline Chrome 12 volt spotlight without control sold $127.50 plus shipping. $23 in shipping on that. That's a pretty big light. Then we had a Salad Master uh, 12 quart roasting pan sell $267 doll hairs plus shipping that ain't too shabby on a vacation so what we're gonna do is obviously when we go home we're immediately gonna send this stuff out we've already had some issues though when we do vacation what we do is is that we have the banner obviously on the store and like I said before we do the message people still have been saying when are we gonna get our item you know so far two people have said it and I've said hey did you get the message did you see the banner oh no so then we just have to actually cancel the order refund them and then we repost the thing we're not doing any uh, any more eBay work actually we're just straight up thrifting for the next five days so it's definitely gonna be fun but like, like I said this place is absolutely busy we are in Crossville at the Kroger and this is a happening area it is absolutely packed check this out I mean there's like we haven't seen this many people since we've been here also there is a lot of people in town because of the 127 so that could also be why it's so busy